Hey, this is Mark Helfman. Just a quick message to uh, readers of my newsletter, Crypto is Easy. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to Crypto is Easy, check the link in the description, click on over, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Wanted to, uh, so one, so, um, I guess last week I sent out an airdrop. A few people were thought that it was a, a, a scam, and it got me thinking uh, about um, about the 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 way things are right now with cryptocurrency and a lot of these projects, particularly the projects that are trying to bootstrap themselves. Um, you know, a lot of these projects are going to look very amateur. Um, they're going to seem like scams, um, but they're actually legit people. I mean, they're not. They're not scams in the sense that somebody is trying to pull one over on you or trying to you know, scam you, defraud you, or whatever. There may be an ulterior motive. Look at these, these guys are trying to build something. They're trying to do something interesting f for the benefit of themselves, um, but also providing something that might be valuable, which is uh, free crypto, maybe. Uh, and some of them, you just, you just you got to take, take a leap of faith. So one of the things, like when you see these things and they look amateur, they don't really make sense, you know, they, 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 may, they may seem just like bizarre out there or whatever. Um, you know, if, if they don't, if, they, if you don't have to take any, any risks, if there's not a major investment of time, if there's nothing you're doing that exposes you to any sort of, um, any sort of downside, I mean, I, I'm not going to say do or don't do these things, um, but I don't think you should ever dismiss these things out of hat because you know there are going to be so many opportunities now and into the future to pick up some free crypto to help a project out uh, in different ways that don't require you giving up really anything, and, um, and whether it's time or money, and it's a good thing to at least think about. It's like when you walk when you go through the mall and the guy's handing out you know the uh, free sample of the chicken skewer. So there are a lot of people, they're not going to touch that thing. They don't know where it's been. Who's this guy giving out chicken skewers, whatever. But for me, look, I'll take the chicken skewer. I'll eat it. If I like it, maybe I'll come back. And if I don't, well, you know what? What, what did it cost me? What did it cost me? You know, I, I expended a, a one calorie to lift my arm from the, skew, from, from the guy's hand, take the skewer, and put it into my mouth and go about my way. Um, so, you know, there are... There are there are a lot of projects that'll just give you some free crypto for doing really nothing. I'll give you an example of uh, energy tokens. Now, I don't even know what energy tokens are. I don't know what they do, but I have $300 worth of this stuff because um, a, a, a source, a trusted source, a few a, a while back told me to uh, sign up for this airdrop, and they asked for an Ethereum address on my email. So I used uh, the, the burner email that I use for all these things, and if you don't have one, you should get one. Um, it's just like... It's just a, a, an email that you use um, that that you keep totally separate from any of your personal accounts or information. You don't send emails from it except directly back to whatever you're signing up for. And you, you keep that like just totally separate. Uh, and you can do it easily. You can go to Gmail and, and you know, sign up for a Gmail address, abc123screwyou at gmail.com. Or Proton Mail has something that's kind of interesting where they have a... Um, a um, it's like a, an alias almost, where you get your normal Proton Mail, and then you can have all these aliases that allow you. So you don't have to manage separate accounts, but it's still shielding you from spam and and you know, exposing your identity and things like that. I have that for airdrops, for exchanges, um, for a lot of things. And so you know, I gave him the email. I signed up. I gave him my Ethereum address. There's no risk for doing that. I hold the private keys. Nobody's, nobody knows where they, nobody's going to get that information. And, um, so there's no risk putting out that, that address, giving it to him. It was a project that I, I looked it up there. There, the guy running the project was, his name was like, I think Tommy world power or Tommy, uh, power or something like that. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. It just looked really weird, but with no cost, with no risk, it took about all 30 seconds. So I did it. I signed up. And now I have energy tokens. They're worth $300. I don't even know what the project does. What am I going to do with that? Well, I, I don't know. I guess I'll just write it out and see how it is. If you look in your Ethereum wallet right now, there's a very good chance that you will have 888,888 kick tokens. What are kick tokens? I don't know. I don't know. I have these things. I have these tokens. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they do. But, I didn't, but it cost me nothing. 
So what am I going to do with these kick tokens? Well, I'm going to wait till we get to the market cycle top. I'm going to see if they're worth anything. If they're worth anything, I'll sell them. So you can't, you know, don't think that just because something is weird or, or silly or whatever that you shouldn't do it because if you're willing to spend 30 seconds or a minute with, without providing any of your sensitive personal information, why not? Give it a shot. And then there are other things that you can do to make free crypto. You know, if you have the Brave browser, you, you can pick up a, a, you know, one or two dollars a month of bat tokens just for doing what you already do. Um, Steam, Hive, these are things where, oh, oh publish 0x. Um, and there are a lot of others. I mean, there are things that I'm not even thinking of. Pre-search, for example. If, you, if you're willing to install the pre-search extension in your, in your browser, well, you can pick up, I think it's like a quarter or half of a pre-search token just for doing a, a web search that you would normally do anyway. And there are just all these other things that don't require any extra investment of time. They don't require any risk. You can use your burner email to sign up for these things. You never give out your personal, sen your sensitive personal information if they ask for it. Lie. You don't have to tell them your real birthday. You don't have to tell them your real country. If there's no KYC, what does it matter? And then, you know, maybe these things are worth something, maybe they aren't, but you're not losing anything, you're not risking anything, and you're not giving anything up. On the other hand, you know, if you have somebody, if you come along something where they're asking you to stake something or give them, you, you, you swap or trade or, or send them something, well then, yeah, you want to put your, you want to be careful. You want to be really careful about that kind of stuff. But the things that I'm thinking about are things that will never do that. Um, there are right now, there are a billion dollars, there's a billion dollars worth of ETH in uh, smart contracts on DeFi systems that still are not, I mean, they get audited. They're, you know, some of these things, they're insured. The projects insure themselves or whatever. But these things are notorious for getting hacked. Uh, the protocols fail. And these are real risks. And that's real risks that you're taking with your money, even if it looks really legit and it's designed really well. Like, the, you know, the app is designed really well and the team is legit. It can still fail. I mean, cryptocurrency is the, risky, is the riskiest asset class in the world. It's an incredible, everything is very risky here. Everything is risky. So when you come along and you see these opportunities that don't have any risk and don't entail any risk, you might want to keep an open mind. You might want to keep an open mind because you might find that for not a lot of extra work or sometimes zero extra work, you pick up some crypto. And if we really get that alt season everybody's talking about, and, you know, things, you know, oh, what's the next 100x, 200x, 300x, whatever. That free crypto that you're getting right now when prices are all low and there's no excitement and there's no traction and all these projects are just like struggling. They're, they're, they're just struggling to get exposure, to get users, to get people to take an interest. Struggling so much that they're giving away crypto for free. Those tokens that you're getting now if we do get that alt season, they're going to be a, worth a lot more, a whole lot more than they are right now. And you're going to be getting them for taking almost no risk and spending almost no time. So think about it. Um, and and uh, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, still, I'll continue um, sending out airdrops every now and then if it's something that's you know, really easy, low risk from legit people, uh, legit teams, even if it might seem like kind of silly. You know, I mean, I, and I've signed up for things that are legit. They come, you know, I get told, a trusted source tells me about them and they haven't panned out. Fest Chain. I haven't seen anything from Fest Chain. I know they exist. I know they're real people. I know they're working. I, I see they're posting blogs. Uh, um, I mean, and, and if you if you know Fest Chain, if you know anybody there, um, that's, that's not a knock against them. This could be an awesome project. It could be amazing. This could be like the greatest thing. I just don't know. I signed up because somebody said, hey, participate in this airdrop. And it was just really easy to participate in. So that's what I did. Um, anyway, I, I, I've, I've already gone too, on too long, but I hope you, uh, you appreciate that. I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, and always get in touch with me if you think that I'm full BS or you, you, you disagree, you don't understand like how I could possibly say something like that because I, I certainly understand somebody. I certainly understand if you listen to this and you're still watching this video and you're like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, Mark. Like, why would you do that? But these things are obviously scams. If there's no product, then why would you even trust these guys? 
It's not about trust. It's cryptocurrency. You don't need trust. You don't need to trust somebody because you have so much privacy and so many, and there are so many things you can do to reduce all the risks that you have in the normal financial system. If you don't have to give up any information, you, you can, these, that's the thing, these airdrops, you don't give anything up. It's just free money and it falls from the sky. And of course, just like anything, you get it for free, you get what you pay for. And a lot of these things that you're gonna do, they're not gonna have any value. But the ones that do are gonna more than make up for the time that you spend, the minute or the 30 seconds that you spend uh, participating and signing up for these things or, or pitching in or doing whatever. So that's it. Um, uh, yeah, I hope you guys weren't too freaked out about that dip that Bitcoin had. Uh, I think there were two days in the past week or so, or maybe two weeks, there are two days where Bitcoin's price went down 10% or more. This is totally normal. And uh, if, you're, if you can't stomach uh, a 10% drop from 9,900 to 9,000, you're gonna have real trouble um, uh, sitting through that, do that drop from 99,000 to 90,000 if we do get that bull run that everybody is predicting and everybody is hoping for. So, you know, just relax and enjoy the ride. As I always say, uh, relax and enjoy the ride. We're gonna have dips, we're gonna have peaks, we're gonna have valleys, they're gonna be, like I said, Bitcoin is, uh, is, is, is um, um, boredom punctuated by moments of terror and ecstasy. And we're just gonna ride it. We're gonna ride it and we're gonna see where it goes. And I'm pretty sure, I'm very confident that by the time uh, this trip is done, we're all going to be in a much better place for it. Relax and enjoy the ride.